Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with Cat. Hope everybody's doing well. It's a beautiful day today here in North Texas. And uh, just wanted to welcome you to our YouTube channel. I say our YouTube channel because I have two sons and a lot of you that have subscribed know me already. So people have been asking, why Cooking with Cat? Well, I have two sons. One is Caleb, one is Dustin. So Cooking with Cat, I thought it had a nice ring to it. So there's Cooking with Cat. Caleb was going to make an appearance today, but he's being a bit grumpy. He's taking a nap. But uh, my 11-year-old Dustin, who's behind the camera, and like I said, the mastermind of everything technical, is uh, shooting this video for us, our first one for our channel. Uh, say hi, Dustin. Hi, Dustin. So that's Dustin. Uh, we aim to make this instructional, but we also want to have a little fun with our channel. And uh, so... Thank you for subscribing. Please share this. Please ask your friends to like it and subscribe. Um, sign up for notifications, of course, so that way when we post a new video, you'll get a notification about it. And uh, what we're going to do today is it's just a brief little video. Just kind of wanted to share with you the things that we use outside. Um, I might have a little bit of a problem with smokers and grills and whatnot. Might have a slight addiction, but um, no worries at all. It's, I think it's a great addiction to have. It's the only addiction I have. So. What we're going to start with here, Dustin's going to kind of look at the smokers and grills that we have. The first one that we have here is basically just a cheap little Aussie grill. Hasn't been used in a long time. I got it as part of a package deal with a Weber Smoky Mountain and a Weber uh, Premium that uh, performer that you'll see here in a bit. So this one, to tell you the truth, I don't even think we've used it since we've gotten it, but we've got it here on the patio. Uh, the next thing we'll look at, Broil King. I believe it's S490 Baron. This thing is bad, you know what. I want it from Premier Grilling, which is a great grilling and accessory store up here in North Texas. They have multiple locations. Go check them out for everything grilling, everything smoker. They even do patios and whatnot, so go give them a like. I'm a huge fan of them. I won this uh, just over a little over a year ago. They had a contest on social media for a Super Bowl and they were doing a thousand dollar shopping spree for broil king products and you had to post a, a photo of your super bowl spread and i won that so i got a thousand dollars to spend at premier grilling for broil king products so dustin come on in let's get a closer look of the uh, baron i believe s490 uh, you can see here it'll peg you all the way to 700 degrees so if you want steaks done quick and fast with a great sear then uh, this is definitely something to check it out. The reason I got this, I don't have anything propane with the exception of this now. As you can see down here, it's got five burners. It also has, I'm sorry, four main burners. It also has a side burner. And this is what I love right here. If Dustin, if you'll kind of zoom in on this right here. This is what really sold me on this one. And when I open up the lid here, you're going to see why. Back here, this runs a rotisserie, which I love the rotisserie, especially to do picanha, which is ridiculously famous at uh, Brazilian steakhouses all around the world. We spin our own picanha here, and it is absolutely fantastic. Here is where the motor is here. You simply have a long accessory here, a bar, if you will, with a couple of fork-like things, and you put your meat in, you spin it, Set it and forget it. So this is what really won me over on uh, this particular Baron as far as Broil King goes. I'm loving it. Just had it over a year. Check them out as well. It's a great, great grill. All right, so let's go down here. Dustin will kind of give you a look of what we've got in the corner over here. First, of course, Weber Kettle, 22 and a half inch. That's, for my money, is about the best charcoal grill you can buy. They've been around forever indestructible love them right next to that we have the uh, platinum performer this is pretty cool down here as dustin will zoom in it has the uh, propane here so you can manually uh, i'm sorry automatically start your fire in here it has a timer as well here so this is really really a cool charcoal grill so you can see all weber kettles have the same lid don't need to show you the inside but um Another cool thing about this particular grill, Dustin will follow me over here, is it also has a place here for your charcoal. So a lot of people have asked me, where do you store your charcoal? I have a ton of it in our garage, but Dustin, if we look back at this, it's pretty cool to see that your bag can fit right in there, 
keeps it out of the elements. I do have covers for all of these grills, but we took them off today so we can show you what we're cooking with. So that's pretty cool there. All right, now as we come to the corner, the first one here, if you haven't heard about Weber and their WSMs, these are called WSMs, Smoky Mountains, Weber Smoky Mountains. This one is a 22 and a half inch. If you're thinking about buying one of these, they come in this one, which is a 22 and a half inch, and they also have these, which are an 18 and a half inch. I would highly recommend you go with the 22 and a half inch. I'm telling you, if you get the 18 and a half inch, a couple cooks afterwards, you're gonna say, gosh, I should have listened to Big Phil and bought the 22 and a half inch. Tons of space. So check these out. Any of your major big box stores carry them. Uh, I was actually fortunate enough to find uh, some really good deals on Facebook Marketplace. Didn't pay nearly what I should have for these. In fact, this 22 and a half inch, this Platinum Performer, and the Aussie down there on the corner, I got for $200 total. So one heck of a steal. So check out Facebook Marketplace as well for some great deals if you don't want to go big bucks. So we have our lineups here of our WSMs, the 22 and a half inch, twin 18 and a half inch. And this is something that's pretty cool. You can see it's kind of like the 22 and a half inch WSM down there. But what this is, this is called a UDS, an ugly drum smoker. Basically, it's a 55 gallon barrel drum. I have two levels of here that have racks in it. I have a charcoal basket at the bottom, and then I have the Weber lid, which fits perfectly on top of the UDS. I built this for a total of 18 bucks. So if you're looking to have a DIY project, look up UDS, Ugly Drum Smoker, and you'll find it all over the internet. And you can build one for, like I said, I built mine for a total of 18 bucks. Uh, the thermometer on this one, Dustin, if you want to take a look, it slides in, slides out. It's just a $4 basically turkey thermometer from uh, Walmart. So uh, down there, Dustin, if you get a picture of the magnet at the bottom, that's what I use to control my air intake. I have four three and one fourths holes around the bottom. If I need more air in, simply slide over the magnet. If I need less air, close the hole. So check this out, 18 bucks, pretty darn good. Dustin, if you want to swing around the corner, we also have some more Weber kettles out there. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is I have a very tolerant wife who accepts and supports my uh, habit. So we have some other Weber kettles over there and some parts as well in case we need to do any maintenance. All right, so the last one that we're going to look at here on the patio is an Oklahoma Joe's. I got this one for free. I wish it was an older model because the older models really had thicker metal than what they have here. But anyway, this one was free, found it on Facebook Marketplace as well. And uh, Dustin and I have talked about kind of rehabbing this and making it a project, but we've got a lot going on. So it sits here, but these are really good smokers as well. So now let's go out into the yard itself. Dustin, go ahead. I'll walk behind you, buddy. We're gonna look at little Joe right here. This was the first big smoker that I bought. Dustin kind of showed him that it has two levels there. So you can see it's got a thermometer right here so you know what you're cooking at. Another door here has another rack on top. This is the first one I bought, I think about five years ago. And the first catering gig that I did, it paid for itself. So that's pretty cool. If you live in the Little Elm Frisco area, Little Joe's for sale. So let me know and I'll give you a really good deal. All right, let's go look at Big Hoss, Dustin. Let's show people Big Hoss. This one I had custom made to my specs. Over here on the right hand side, you can see all the storage area where I can do my 73 quart catering coolers here. I can do wood as you see all up in the front. Nice thing here is you're able to lock it down so people can't get to it if you're at a rest stop or whatnot going in for a little break, you can lock those down. Let's come over here and look at one of the cool features here. Dustin, come on over buddy. I've got six slide out racks here. I can use this as a holding cabinet if I'm doing on-site catering events to keep the food at 140. Or I can do flat things in here like ribs, spatchcock chickens, you name it. So each of these pulls out, which is pretty cool. So we've got that firebox down there. Really don't need to show you. Dustin, come on over here and we'll show them 
the other side of Big Hoss. You can see we've got five gauges, temperature gauges, so you know what you're cooking at. Three across here, and I've got three slide out racks inside. Haven't cleaned this one in, up in a while, so let's see kind of what it looks like. Last cook I did was uh, about a week and a half ago, so we've got a little cleaning to do, but all of these slide out as well. The nice thing about this is I can take these two racks out. That way there's no obstructions here, and I can do whole hog if I want to. So it's a very versatile setup built to my specifications. It's heavy. This here is a slide out table. I'll show you how this works. Unlatch it here. It slides right out. Slides in here. So that way when I'm on site, now I really have two sections where I can prep things. So I can prep briskets, pork butts, chickens, you name it. When they come out, I can put them here in aluminum hotel pans and be good to go. Another nice thing about this, we do have elements here in Texas, especially rain. So I told them that I wanted a little protector up here. Dustin, if you can see one of these up here, guys. This will kind of make the rain not go inside your baffle, which it won't get into the smoke uh, chamber. So as you can see, we also have one over there, Dustin, on top of the holding rack. And then of course, I always keep these closed when I'm not smoking or cooking. Dustin, come over here and look at this one. So as you can see here, open and close. Whenever I'm not cooking, we keep these closed so that way the rain and elements don't get inside of it. Really important thing here, guys, if you're new to smoking, you always want to keep this wide open when you're running your pit. Always. You manage the flow from your firebox, but you always want to keep this wide open. No matter what kind of pit you have, this exhaust stack needs to be completely wide open. So here is Big Hoss. You can see we also have some more storage space in the front. Dustin, if you can kind of look underneath just a bit, we've got a spare tire. So that way, if we happen to have a flat tire on the road, we're good to go. Um, it's got a little wheel there in the front to make things easier. It is pretty heavy, so we use an ATV to kind of pull it around. And that is Big Hoss. So Dustin, if you kind of want to step back here a bit, you can kind of get a good view of everything that we have here the two big smokers here and then everything in the back as dustin can see now in the corner we also got some really cool signs here trying to kind of make it a nice little atmosphere out here in the yard uh, rudy's i got those free from the rudy's in frisco when they were changing signs around and then dustin i think the last thing we're going to show them uh got wood uh, we do dustin kind of laughed at that hope you did too but uh, we're working on our wood pile. We haven't touched it in a, in a bit because of the winter months that we've had, but um, I'll start getting splits back in. Uh, I really like to use live oak or post oak, but uh, right now I've got a variety of wood, so that we'll work on in just a bit. But um, that's really it. Just kind of wanted to give you an introduction for the first time, let you know kind of what we're gonna be doing. Uh, in the future, it's either gonna be a cooking video or a barbecue video. I think the first one I'm gonna do is ABTs. They are atomic buffalo turds, and they are fantastic. They're jalapeno poppers kicked up just a bit. And when we hit our 125th subscriber, we're gonna give away some ABTs. So be sure you subscribe, so that way you're eligible for that random drawing. And I think that's the next thing we're gonna do is show you how to make ABTs. They are fantastic and we're gonna give some out to you. You could be the lucky winner. So that's gonna be our first how-to video. Uh, also, when we fit 500 subscribers, I'm gonna give away an entire brisket, slow smoked for probably about 20 hours. So thank you for subscribing. Share this, ask your friends to subscribe, so that way they can win some grub as well. And uh, if you have any questions for me, let me know. Hopefully Caleb will make his debut in our next video, but like I said, he's a bit grumpy right now. Dustin has a football game here in a couple of hours, so we just wanted to do a quick little intro to let you know what's going on with Cooking with Cad, and hope to see you next time. Have a good one.